George W. Bush said that he believes intelligent design should be taught in all schools. In the book, Family of Secrets, The Bush Dynasty, Russ Baker confirms the existence of more than one version of Bush Jr. It has been said that there are 14 versions of him, all birthed by surrogate mothers, that would be able to replace Bush if he were ever to go insane or die. Even David Letterman joked about it and pointed out how his nose always looks different. Pretty strange. My understanding is that a lot of presidents have already been replaced. That's right. Yeah, I don't think... They're think, walking around, they're, they look old, but they basically... Uh, some well, of the people are... I'll, 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 just give you something to, I'll give you something to ponder. Get some old videos of George Bush. His, when he first came into office. Look at the person and listen to him speak. Look at his actions and listen to his everything that's there. Now, it's a lot easier to put somebody out in front to act as a, you know, even Bush did. He had somebody else that was up there acting like he is and look like it. Even Hitler had a, you know, he had his stand. In fact, his stand in was the one that they found in the, in the ground over in Germany. Speaking of presidents, Freeman Fly proposed the interesting theory that Obama was the clone of Akhenaten and Michelle Obama was the clone of his wife, Nefertiti. In the book, The Seven Clones of Barack Obama, occultist author Ben Zamagos discusses Obama as the spawn of an Anunnaki breeding experiment in order to bring back Akhenaten. And you have to realize that there's more than one Obama. Okay. They're clones. Ah, all right. Well, it would take a lot. No, of you to think, of that. no, no. And you, you think I'm kidding you? I'm uh -huh. serious. Okay. You, you, when you see the clone, the clone can sing and dance. Yeah. The real one, one with the <laughs> he can't say. <laughs> and whenever you see his wife with the clone, uh huh, uh, she is like on a bad date. She's very standoff. Uh -huh. Her energy. She doesn't like the uh -huh. But the real Obama, they're always hugging him, they're close to him, kissing him, brushing the Daniels off because he has Daniels. He really does. <laughs> That's why I did a commercial for whatever the shampoo was. No, but seriously. You don't you, do that. No, but it's true. No, no, no. But you, you think I'm kidding? Watch them. Okay, even the little dog. The little dog. The, the real Obama, the little dog's all up in their face. But the, the clone. No, the clone. Presence. The little dog is barking at the clone all the time. While promoting Jumanji, Jack Black was asked about doing a sequel. He said, there is no choice. You have to do the sequel. Otherwise, they will kill you and clone you. You could...